All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. Welcome. Good morning. Good, good afternoon, IMU students, I guess, believe. Yeah. So welcome to IMU Essential Workshop brought to you by IMU Industrial Partnership and Career Development Unit and in collaboration with Caliber Business Solutions in Amber So we are from Caliber Business Solutions and we are the trainer for today. So this is Essential Skills Workshop number two, right? So without further, I think without further ado, I'll pass on to Dr. Claire Kiel for her to introduce herself. Is it okay? Actually, the moment we were born, we already started to manage. Not that we manage, but we have to negotiate, we have to communicate, and honestly, yeah, it was managing our friends, managing ourselves, so that's all about people management. So I'm going to hear, I want to hear your voices, yeah, so that I know, you know, so that we can connect. And this will only take, let's not take too long, meaning it could be 15 to 20 seconds only. Okay, I'm showing you this, this slide, very simple. Just tell your name quickly and where are you from. You can, you can be from Batu Pahar or you can say whatever, or you can say which faculty you're from. Okay, and do this. I always dreamt that someday I would manage people, dot, 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 dot. So I want you to think about, so that you at least have an end in mind. You know, your dream of what you learned today in two in these two hours that you can apply, right? So what you're gonna learn, yeah, in the next one half hours with me are things that you can use. I'm gonna share with you even a personality profiling. It's in an I especially made this in an Excel, it's in soft copy, and it will be given to you. It's a gift from us, and you can use it. In your teams, immediately you will get a score. So I can teach you how to use this. And you'll be able to understand different types of people. You'll be able to manage, you know, and appreciate that people are not difficult, but they are just different. And the moment you can embrace this, wow, you know, miracles will happen. Because, okay, you all mentioned the word training. Some of you want to lead, want to motivate. So this is about a team. So people management is managing a team. And why do we do it? Why do we want to manage all this? Because you want to optimize. I hear the word um, effectively, efficiently. And it's about productivity and performance. Yeah, if you can manage, then you want to increase productivity and performance. Why productivity? Then we can work better. We can get more things done in lesser time. Because the trend, the trend also is moving to this rule called 80-20. Okay, you have a chance as I'm speaking, you want to write down notes, go ahead. And you can Google and find out more. All right? Talk about managing your time. Where if you sometimes you take care of the 20% of your time, focus on it, and that will be giving you 80% of your, your success. So it's not about the quantity, but it's the quality of what you put in. Yeah? So you want to take note. It's just like a... So these are a lot of words, I'll be reading all, but basically we want to say that people management is critical. That's why you all are here, that's why it's part of the skills, it's part of the syllabus. And I'm going to share with you some latest thinking in people management. Okay, of course, I mean, it's a short time, but I will share you some ideas and you can continue. Perhaps one fine day, we may be given the opportunity, you can contact us. Uh, caliber business solutions so we can spend more time to work on certain tools and techniques because one tool can take one to two hours to practice okay learning objectives basically we're going to talk about the four pillars of emotional engagement four areas and then more and i'll share with you the personality profiling the disc where you will do an assessment because i want to do it with you all straight away and get the result and when we understand one another okay Okay. Emotional intelligence describes the ability, capacity, skill, perceive, you know, it's not just about, um, some people think, that I used to think, honestly, emotional intelligence is about being nice to people, but it's more than that. Yeah, you will learn that it involves a um, few other areas, a few other pillars that we're going to go through today. Here, yeah, the four pillars of emotional intelligence. Firstly, self-awareness. Self-awareness is one of the most powerful thing. And you could do this sometimes by even asking your friends about yourself. Because sometimes you have blind spots, you know, we cannot see what we are, what we do. And especially when we are young, we don't really know. Okay, so that's about self-awareness. Self-awareness. Um, 
mindfulness, this word mindfulness come in is, you know, you, uh, I learned about having to take time, if you can, early in the morning when you wake up, instead of just reaching out to the phone or, you know, just start the day, but to get up and be aware. There's this mantra I have during the COVID that I, put, I want to put in place. It's called be 1% better today than yesterday. So it's to be self-aware that I need to improve. Self-regulation. Okay, uh, when you go out to the marketplace or you start to lead, you need to be conscious of yourself. Self-control. So that's why managing people, you may be the boss, you may be the leader, but if you know how to find a way to collaborate with people, how do you hear the voices? Just and tenacity, it's my favorite. Tenacity is about having that drive. Never give up drive, okay? Okay, social awareness. This is about development of good interpersonal skills. I, everyone is talking about this. The EI, emotional intelligence. Okay, but take notes, take notes. Also be social aware, socially aware that there are some people who are wired differently. Like I was saying, like my son who is autistic, initially I didn't understand why. Um, I could never bring him out because he refused to enter uh, to any place, any restaurant, even my sister's house, because their brain is just, uh, they see things differently this way. But if we begin to appreciate and understand their strength, and some of the useful skills in social awareness, like influence. Now, I, another thing that I learned is, um, everybody wants to influence. Everybody wants to be able to sell ice to Eskimo. I mean, not everybody wants, but it would be great. We can negotiate and win the deal, right? So it's, it's a skill. It's a, so communication is so critical. One of you mentioned, I think a few of you mentioned communication. Now communication is a skill. Okay, so you want to be a catalyst in what you do. You want to be the first in what you do. You know, you want to have dreams because you learned something and you can change, not say change Malaysia, but bring us all to a different level. Okay, you want to be the catalyst, a monkey, huh? catalyst. Collaboration and cooperation is the way to go nowadays because you cannot be, uh, you, you know, you study something, you think that, wow, that's all I need. But then certain times, actually, if you collaborate, you can even do more. One plus one is not two, you know. Actually, one plus one is, we call it infinity. One person can carry 10 kilogram, two persons is not 20 kilogram. It's very powerful, they can carry more than 20 kilograms. So it's, um, it's been proven of collaboration. And you can have many, many collaborations, okay? It doesn't mean that you need to start up and open a company and then you're stuck with one for the rest of your life. So this is the trend now I hear and I see. What is, what is moving, what is really working. Yeah? Building bonds, powerful, trust. Trust is very important. And how do you build trust? It takes time. It's not overnight. So you need to farm. We say farm, farm our friendship. And then team capabilities. I love team. If I had to choose one thing I want to do for the rest of my life it will be about teams, T-E-A-M. I'm a team expert. I love teams. I love to bring teams from a problematic team to a high-performing team, okay? So teams evolve. We can be forming, we can be just a new team. You just joined at university, you just started an association forming. Then you have storming. Storming is where we all get from each other. Then we realize that we are all different suddenly. Initially, we, when we interview, everything was good. Then suddenly, you know, you have different ideas and all. There's a storming that comes in. Okay, I want to share with you um, action, reflection, learning. These are patented tools. If I share with you, you can feel free to use it. Format learning style system. Now, if, um, if you, you there are, we have this saying that there are some people preferred learning style. They call it the VAK, visual, auditory, kinesthetic. So visual are people who um, loves to see things. Like for me, I love to draw. So when I coach or when I, when I was younger, when I used to study, I actually draw and I use a lot of colors and I paste them on a wall so that I can see. The moment I see, I capture already. I can remember. So I'm a visual person. Auditory, people who love to listen. I've got friends who just like to record his her voice, record the lecturer's voice and just play auditory and they can sleep with it and they can memorize things. And then with kinesthetic, they want to experience it. 
You know, they need to feel, they need to touch, they need to do it. They need to maybe, so doing means they need to teach it, for example, then they can remember. So that's VAK. Yeah? Here, I want to share with you this very powerful uh, system. It's called the format. Why, what, how, so what? Okay, meaning that in future, even right now, if you're ever going to do, a, let's say, a meeting, okay, you have a, you know, sometimes we write, okay, this is the agenda of the meeting. Why don't you try this way? Uh, start with, maybe you can start with what. What is this meeting about? Okay, what we are saying is that the, the people all have different learning styles, the format. So what, so I, I actually use this what. This meeting is about our preparation for Hari Raya, which is going to happen in one month's time, blah, 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 what. Then why? Why are we doing this? Okay, we're doing this to foster more unity, more friendship. You know, there's a need for this. Why are we doing this? No, why? How? How are we doing it? Okay, we're going to collect 50 ringgit from everybody. Then we're going to have a party. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Each one going to blah, 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 blah. You do the how is there, the action plans. So what? Doing this for what? So what? After we do this, what happened? From here, we will all have the connection. We'll have the network. We'll have the collaboration, blah, 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 blah. Now, this will attract all kinds of people, right? Because a person who is a... a all right, something... If you go online, you can also find this even though I studied this and I thought it was patented, but basically, instead of going for the majority win, sometimes people say, okay, you know, every Monday in I'm you, we want to have 8 a.m., all of us want to do aerobic class. So there are 20 of us, put up your hands, who's interested? And 11 people put up the hand, 11 people out of 20. So they say, okay, on, all of you must come because majority says it's aerobic class. Maybe those days you can do like that, but now if you do like this, what happened? People get, they shut off, they're not happy. So I learned about FIS-5. Basically, you, this is a process that you can use. And uh, FIS is, you know, like punching. So you, if you ask, if I ask that question, the same question, let's say to all of you, to this, this 20 people, and someone puts a one, for example. Let's say I say, okay, we're gonna have aerobic at eight o'clock every Monday, someone puts a one. One means I don't like it, but I won't block it. So I'll ask the person, may I know, may I know why, why you don't like it? Why, why you put a one? And the person may say, I love to exercise, but I don't like aerobics because aerobics make me, make me sprain my leg the last time. But if you could do, if you could do like Zumba, um, I may consider, okay. So, so suddenly we've got a comment there. Then another person puts a two because if it's a feast one and two, we actually ask them, how do we move to a three? Trees that wow, the decision is good. I'll get involved. So we want to listen. So the person say, Oh, I'm not excited because I, I'm I only love badminton. I don't enjoy this. Who likes aerobics? You know? So then we begin to ask the question. So are you saying that you will take part if you do something related to sports? Then maybe we got this idea that hey, we should do it every Monday, but we have give opportunity for different kinds of sports. So I've used this FIS-5 and it has helped me a lot. Now, imagine now if you have the nine people who say no, suddenly you begin to understand their needs. And when you listen to people, they are happy that you listen to them, they will be involved. Then they feel what? They feel engaged and they'll be committed. So this is one way you can use to get uh, involvement. Okay, This is one tip for you. I'm going to do this with you all. It's called a stop reflect. So what is a stop reflect? Stop reflect is to get everyone's voice in the room. Okay. Instead of sometimes we, I used to do this, you know, I remember even in university, like, okay, teacher give us an assignment. Okay, I divide into group. Okay, five, five groups, yeah? All right. Go and brainstorm. I give you guys 30 minutes to brainstorm. So it's a process where we invite everyone. If it's um, physical, that means not online, huh? we actually have post-it, you know the post-it paper, the pink color, yellow color one, yeah. You give everyone one piece. You share a question, for example, you can share, how do we move on? Uh, what should we do after we graduate, all of us from IMU? What can we do together? Then you say, let's take two minutes to think. I want you all to write on the chat, I want you all to write on the paper, two minutes. Now in two minutes, everyone at the same time is writing their idea. 
Okay, so imagine it's the, the most quiet person who always don't get to talk is writing the idea. Okay, or the one if it's in a, if it's in a company, the clerk or the frontliner is not competing. It's not competing with the senior manager in the room. Eh? They are all having the same time, given the same time to write their ideas down on this piece of paper. And after two minutes, if there's no time, the boss or the you know the leader whoever will just collect all the post its get get us all or get everyone to read what is on their post it. Now, if, I, if we do that, if there are 20 people, we would have known, wow, out of these 20 ideas, 10 of them are from the same idea. And you are very sure that they didn't copy one another. Why? Because they all wrote at the same time. So these are things you want to collect. You want to know how they think. Yeah? You want to get what is important to them. So I really love this idea. And I've, helped in, I've also helped use this to help meetings. Meetings that are not going anywhere. Ask, I want you to think about the challenges that you're facing in people management. Thanks. So DIC profiling was created 100 years ago. Feel free to Google, you know, it's, there are tens of thousands of DIC material inside there. Very, very powerful. And I'm giving you this gift. My request is you don't sell this. You want to use it, you gift it away. Use it to help people but don't sell this because it's not right now. It's, my, it's a property of uh, Caliber Business Solutions, but we are giving it away to you because we believe that sharing is really uh, caring and we want all of you to spread this out in the right way, right manner. Use it for yourself and your teams, yeah? Okay, it's all you can download. Try and download first before I explain, huh? then I explain how to do it. So what is DISC? It's a profiling tool. Some of you, when you go for a, for a job, you might go through this. They will ask you to fill up. It's a manual one, you know, while you're waiting in the interview room. They ask you to fill up the DISC. And then they put, put it in the score and then they will know. If you're applying for a marketing job, they will take in certain types of characteristics. You're applying for a research job, uh, research, you know, project work, whatever. They use this. So when we do this, we're going to understand ourselves better. We talk about self-awareness. So blind spots, you will know your blind spots, perhaps. Because this is 98% accurate. Okay? I didn't create this. Huh? This is, uh, was created by a team of other, other people. And 100 years ago, okay, we've just simplified it to 24 questions. Develop your personality strengths. It's easy to work on your strengths. It's tougher to work on your weaknesses. But you just become aware of it. Respect personality differences. Because you're going to learn about different people and know that everyone is a blend of all four styles. Okay, I'm going to stop share now. Okay, we start with this. The D category. So the D stands for, if so if your score, look at your scores right now. Uh, if your score, if you're highest in D, okay, meaning that out of the four scores, yours is the highest in D, you are what we call dominant person. Uh? We call it big hand, the hand very big. Why? Go, 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 do, 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 you know, pushing. Push with a very results oriented, inspiring, give of the gap. We call it a big mouth. Wow, why big mouth? Can sell ice to Eskimo. Okay, I think majority of us here happen to be S. S is called stable. Very nice people. Majority of our culture, Malaysian culture. So I've done this with uh, different races. Because I do a lot for the government of Malaysia. Government of Malaysia, majority are Malay. So majority, about 70 to 80% are in the S category. Just now we had a friend, right? I think it was Dave, right? About being perfect. That's you. You are wired to be perfect, perfectionist. I had a, um, learned to uh, mirror back. That's the secret. Mirror the other person's characteristic. If I will give you something today, mirror. And you can change, uh, mirror the other person. That's the way. Because people like to work with people like them. Understand? You want to get into one of, want to be a good friend to somebody, look at the fellow's character. Mirror. You change. Uh. The fellow talk fast, walk fast, eat fast. You also talk fast, walk fast, eat fast. The fellow talk slow, soft. You also talk slow, soft. Mirror back. Because that person didn't do DISC. 
Okay, now a lot of you are single here. You want to use the DISC to get your partner, you can. Opposites attract. Now don't cry and get the same one, same like you. Really, if I get my if my husband is a like a D like me, oh dear, what's gonna happen? So I'm married to an S, but if I didn't learn about DISC, I would have spooled my hair every day because they are wired differently. So the world is amazing, it makes the world a better place by having different characteristics. Okay. A little QR code. Please scan this QR code in order for you, and then you need to answer some questions and give us a, a evaluation, a feedback evaluation of the of the program. And then uh, there is a requirement for that. Once you have done that, then you will get your certificate sent to you, e-certificate, okay? Maybe I can pass it to Najwa. 